Hello artists! Today we're going to be drawing a huge rainbow and some other St. Patrick's Day symbols. So let's start out by drawing our giant rainbow and we're going to use eight lines so that we have enough room for seven colors, which are all the colors in the rainbow. Two, three, four, And then I can remember where I'm going to put the colors in rainbow order by spelling out Roy G. Biv. So I can do red, orange, yellow, Roy, G, B, I, B. And that's going to help me remember where to put the colors. If you want to, you can add some more symbols that go along with St. Patrick's Day, like a pot of gold, or a leprechaun, or a four-leaf clover. All right, artists, once you've finished drawing and you have lots of details and there's no really big blank spots, I could even probably add a little something right here to your artwork, then go back and color in the rainbow first. So take a look at your crayons or whatever you're using, markers, color pencils, and make sure that the color matches what you're going for. So this says red. So I'm going to use it where I wrote R of Roy G. Biv because I know the rainbow starts with red. Now remember, when you're coloring with crayons or color pencils, if you color lightly, it looks okay. But if you press down harder, look at the difference. So much more bright and brilliant. So take the extra couple of seconds and slow down and press down a little bit harder so that your colors are bright. Take your time, especially when you get towards the edges, and color nice and slow so you don't get outside of your lines. When you get in the middle, you can color a little bit faster. But when you're going towards the edges, slow down. When you finish coloring your rainbow, color the rest of your picture. Take your time, do your best, and have fun!